the groove continues as we highlight some of the best music the Hoosier State has to offer. And today we're talking about the power of lyrics Ooh. that they can have on not only the artists, but their audiences as well. Yeah, our Randall Newsom goes a little deeper in part three of his dive into Indiana's music scene. When it comes to music, sometimes it's not just about the beat, but what you say in a song that can make a real impact. And with the help of their sultry sounds, these artists take their hearts and pour them out on the stage. When you hear them play, when you hear them sing, they don't just want you to bob your head. And I want people to just be moved. You know, I want them to feel something in here because that's why I write. Something that uh, people can relate to. Because music speaks when words can't. For Annalisa and Allie, they never thought those words could take them so far. And don't say you don't want we both know that you want started in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic on something called the Quarantine Karaoke Facebook page. I was working from home and she's like, Allie, pick up the guitar. I barely knew really any chords, you know. I never would have thought in a million years, oh, I'm going to get paid to play our songs, our music, songs that matter to us. So when did they know? When did they know they had something special? I, I feel like when people come up and they, they felt our music, they, um, they tell us what it meant to them. And now they're booked and busy, sometimes up to four times a week. You know, it's almost like surreal, like how is this happening to us? It could be that they have something to say that people need to hear. Because we have a lot of songs that have a lot of meaning behind mental health awareness. And I feel like now is the time to kind of let those songs be heard. We're, we're just regular people following a dream and Indiana's kind of making it happen. Another dynamic duo making it happen. If you come see us play live, you're going to feel it. Keller and Cole. It's coming from a, the gut. It's not for show. We both get choked up singing our songs on stage sometimes. My mom and I have a at-risk youth program called The Landing. They threw a music festival and she asked her future partner in music to be a part, which led to a conversation and another, and then a meeting at Landon's house that changed everything. She met my family, that went well, and then we went upstairs and we wrote a song in 15 minutes. And after finding the right timing and the right flow, they teamed up. Safe to say you're doing okay when you get invited to play the Palladium in Carmel. I mean, this. look at this place. It's gorgeous. It was, bre it was breathtaking. I mean, it felt surreal. Well, I'm sure with that harmony, they'll get to do it again. Let's do it again. Wait, wait, before do we get into again. that, this is Brett Wiscons. He's not new to the scene, but he remembers falling in love with music like it was yesterday. I think it just goes back to being a kid in my room with the door shut, listening to music and having posters on the wall of all my favorite bands. Since then, he's developed his own seasoned sound. Now I'm a journalist, and there's absolutely no way I'm not asking this man why he's barefoot with lightly painted finger and toenails. Right, this is all about my connection with my daughter, Luca. A hobby that started during the pandemic, he still wears today as a badge of honor on any stage he steps on. We were stuck in the house, and she wanted to open up her own little nail salon in the house, so Daddy was her first client. And for a while, her only client, which meant she wanted to practice a lot. Daddy, let's do it again, let's do it again. Which got him thinking, writing, strumming his guitar, and now we get back to that first jam. Stay outside and yell, let's do it again. Every artist agrees something special has sparked in Indiana's music scene. I don't feel like Indy's music scene is touchable. We have such great local musicians. Everyone's kind of getting a shot to be heard. A waterfall that's brimming with love. Let's do it again. Next up, a singer with a powerful voice using it to uplift people with gospel and a rapper using his lyrics to lift up his city. Now, this was part three of my series on Indy's music scene. You can go back and see part one and two. Just grab your phone, scan the QR code and head to our Inside Story page on WishTV.com.